Hi YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about why Linux is so secure. Um, the first obvious reason why Linux is so secure is because not so many people make malware and malicious software in general for it. Um, so to date, there's been I think less than 60 viruses, I think it's around 48 or 50 actual viruses, viruses. Um, that spread on your computer that have been found for Linux. There's 36,000 viruses every day found for Windows and Windows doesn't really do anything about them. Um, whereas, you know, they might ex fix exploits and, and their code and different zero-day stuff with their updates, they don't actually ever fix any of the viruses in bulk like Linux does. Every Linux kernel updates, all the viruses that have been made since become benign and no longer work. Um, so you're not really looking at 48 or 50 or 60 viruses in Linux, you're looking at pretty much zero. And so that's a huge, a huge reason why Linux is more secure. Now Windows, Windows has access control, um, mandatory access controls and stuff like that. But Linux has way better ones. For instance, Linux first came out with something called SE Linux, or Security Enhanced Linux. And that's a feature that provides a me mechanism for supporting the access control security policies, include, um, including the United States Department of Defense style mandatory access controls. And then there's App Armor, which are used, it's used by Ubuntu and different distros like that. Um, 8.04 or higher uses App Armor. And App Armor is a Linux security module implementation of name-based access control. And App Armor confines individual programs to a set of listed files and POSIX 1003.1e draft comp compatibilities. So App Armor um, usually needs to be disabled, or SE Linux needs to be disabled to use App Armor. But App Armor comes out of the box on Ubuntu. And these are things that give extra controls. And what they do is they use something called uh, LSM, which is the Linux security module, um, and that's it, or, yeah, and that's an implementation of name-based access controls. And what they do is they basically describe how a program is going to interact with another program, and what certain rules it can follow, and it uh, provides quite a more secure environment where really nothing can run free. And so that's one of the things that makes Linux so secure, besides the fact that there's basically not, no viruses. Um, on top of that, if you've ever tried to install something that's not meant for Linux, it's impossible to get it to run. The only thing you can really have happen in Linux when you're using it is, you know, Facebook viruses that take over your Facebook. Uh, there's still lots of viruses that are available uh, to affect your browser or hurt your browser in Linux because it's the same. Um, there's lots of things there. Um, yeah, so it, it's interesting too because a lot of people don't understand. They, like a lot of, I meet a lot of Windows techs and they think, well, how come Windows doesn't have this stuff figured out? It's not that Windows doesn't have this stuff figured out. It's purely that they don't want to. They don't want to be a virus-free thing because they get paid off by antivirus companies and hardware manufacturers because guess what? Most people when their computer gets all bungled up and they're rich, they just go buy another $500 computer. So the hardware companies, I think, get pay Microsoft to make their security less intact. I mean, Microsoft uses their own access control list. I think they, it's called DACL, discretionary access control list. I can't remember now. Yeah, and creating a DACL. So I guess you have to create it. I've never gone to the trouble of that because when I want security, I just use Linux. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing that makes Linux really secure is if someone's hacking it and they don't know anything about Linux, which usually if they're a hacker, they would. Um, but it gives a little bit more mystery. You're not going to know how to do anything on the computer if you're not a Linux guy. So using systems that are not as well known, I think, are more secure than using things like uh, SonicWall, Checkpoint, um, you know, whatever the, you have. Because when you use something that's less well known about, there's less chance that there's, you know, exploits and things like that for it. Whereas with Windows, there's program after program, like Railgun and Metasploit and all these different things that take advantage of Windows. And there's stuff like that for Linux, but it's not, it's few and far in between. Because, you know, 
there's like if you want to do anything in Windows maliciously, there's an app already made for that. There's already somebody who's made that. It's not like that in Linux. So that's why Linux is far superior in security to Windows. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe for more. Um, let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe. Later, guys.